Okay, right here is a 1967 Bucyra Siri 88B. This is one of the most famous and successful excavators built by Bucyra Siri, and also the largest of Bucyrus's construction-sized cable machines. The 88B was launched in 1946 as a four-yard machine. In 1960, an upgraded Series 2 version was released with an increase in bucket capacity up to five cubic yards. The Series 3 version, which is what you're looking at right here, was introduced in 1962. This would later be replaced by the five and a half cubic yard Series 4 version in 1968. The 88B was available from Bucyrus Erie in multiple configurations, including a stripping shovel, drag line, lifting crane, and loading shovel, which is what you're looking at right here. Now, let's go and get a closer look at an 88B. In the standard shovel configuration that you see right here, an 88B was set up with a 28-foot boom standard. Now, on the stripping shovel configuration, the 88B was set up with a 47-foot boom, and the bucket capacity was decreased by one cubic yard. The big bucket that you see on the front of this machine is six cubic yards. This is a factory bucket right from Bucyrus. And you can see right on the side here the plate that says Bucyrus Siri, the size six cubic yard, and it is a general purpose bucket. The 88B was designed with hook roller swing bearings and an external swing rack. Right here you can see two of the big rollers that will swing the shovel left or right when it's running. These two ropes that you see right here control the dipper handle. They run up inside the boom and then up top to the pivot point and this is what will extend the dipper handle out or pull it back in. And on the top of the bucket in the front you can see the single sheave with the rope running around it and this is what will pick the bucket up and down to allow the machine to cut into a lift. Now, let's go up inside the operator's cab, and I'll show you the control setup on this machine. Right here on the side, you can see the plate that says Bucyrus Erie, the model 88B, and where it says Series 3. Wooden plank walkways were standard that were built around the sides of an 88B, so the operators can get around the machine to service the engine or work on it. The doors on this machine to get in the operator's cab and back by the engine compartment are sliding. Here you can get a good overview of the inside of the cab on an 88B. Okay, now an 88B is a full air control machine. It has a single engine, torque converter drive, and twin governor dual controls. This is all air power that you see right here. All these hand levers you see over here, this is for the drum brakes, locks, this is the swing jock, propel clutch gear, clutch brakes, digging brakes. These two big hand levers that you see out in front control the digging functions. One will extend the crowd in or out, the other will pick the bucket up and down. The two foot pedals you see on the floor are air brakes. Over here off to the left side, all these gauges you see, this is the converter temperature, engine oil pressure, clutch pressure, fuel gauge, and this one over here is for the air pressure. Now also take note that the inside of the cab on the 88B is very well insulated and also separate from the engine compartment. This is to reduce the amount of noise and vibration in on the operator when he be running this machine. This door you see right here is to get in and access the engine. This door is locked so I will not be able to take you inside the house and show you the drums and set up inside there, but I will show you the engine through a back compartment. This vent you see right here is for the engine radiator. Okay, in here, you can get a good view of the engine. These sliding compartments in the back are to allow air circulation in back by the engine when the machine is running. 
From here you can get a good view of the diesel engine that powers this machine. Now let's talk a little bit about the powering history on the 88B series. The original series 188Bs were powered by a six-cylinder Cummins LRI 600, which put out 264 horsepower. The series 2 machines were powered by a larger 12-cylinder Cummins NVHI 1200, which produced 280 horsepower. This Series 388B is powered by a Cummins VT1710C, which produces 365 horsepower for this machine. GM, Caterpillar, and also electric power was also offered, depending on what the customer preferred. A 200-gallon fuel tank supplies the engine with fuel. And on the floor, you can see the batteries. On the back here are other compartments to get in back by the drums. Here on the side you can see the metal plate that says Bucyrus Erie. This compartment right here in the front, here you can see the grease barrel on the 88B. And in the front right here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine and where the two crowd ropes run up the boom to go up to extend the dipper handle in and out. And here you can see at the top of the A-frame the ropes that run up top to support the boom and the two hoist ropes that run up top to the sheaves down to pick the bucket up and down. Here you can see the ring. Now from under here you can get a good overview of the drive system on an 88B. And you can see these are chain driven crawlers. You can see the big chain running around the rear sprocket that connects up to the drive sprocket which in turn will travel the machine. And on the back of the counterweight you can see where it says Bucyrus Erie. Later on in 1975, the Series 488B received a raised cab design to boost the operator up higher for better visibility when loading trucks. The last big upgrade for the 88B came in 1981 when Bucyrus introduced a loader configuration for the Series 4 machine. The new loader configuration featured an enormous 10 cubic yard bucket, additional counterweight, more power, up to 525 horsepower, and also a specially designed cambered boom, which allowed for better reach over trucks, transforming the 88B into a beast. The story of the legendary 88B came to a close in 1984, when the last unit was shipped and production ended, after over 688Bs had been built and put into service all around the world. And the overall operating weight of the 88B Series 3 in shovel configuration, as you see right here, is 135 tons. The earlier versions weighed around 127 tons as a shovel. The stripping shovel configuration weighed 163 tons. And the loading shovel configuration for the Series 4 machine weighed just under 150 tons. And this particular 88B that you're looking at right here is still in operation today.